Alison Theuris. Mr Speaker, universal credit rollout has already commenced in Northern Ireland, but women who have conceived the third child uh, due to rape and the organisations that this government expects to help them still do not have clarity over whether or not they will face prosecution under Section 5 of the Criminal Law Act in Northern Ireland. I ask again for the umpteenth time, can we have a debate, an oral statement, anything on the implications of, this, of the two-child r- limit and the rape clause for women and organisations in Northern Ireland? Leader of the House. The Honourable Lady raises an incredibly important point. She will be aware that in, in England, um, any claim, any such claim from a, a woman who has conceived a third child through non-consensual sex will not be heard by a DWP or HMR member of staff. They will simply take the claim and receive the supporting professional third party advice. And we will not require any evidence of a criminal conviction or judicial finding. And it's very important we continue to work with Northern Ireland to ensure that that policy is implemented as far as possible. It is a devolved matter, but we will continue to seek to influence the outcome. 